Hey everyone, welcome to TC Bean. In this video, we will learn about some tricks regarding Tecla template report. In some of the Tecla standard report, you might have noticed that by selecting some rows in the report, the model objects can be highlighted. So let's take an example. Just go to the report by pressing Ctrl B on your keyboard. So report window will come. I will select the report with that features. Let's take the model checking report. Create from all. So in this, if I will select this, you can see this model object is highlighted. If I will select the another row, this is highlighted. So did you ever think that which are the things behind the picture which make this report interactive with this model? If not, let's see in this video. So I am closing it and I am just going to the Tecla template editor here. I am just opening that report in which this facility is not provided so i'm opening this and that template report i've already placed inside my model folder i will request you to not touch the standard report first place it inside the model and then do some experiment okay so i'm taking the advanced bill report here first i am showing you by control b assembly which report it was as an advanced bill so the, in the advanced bill i will extract it without the change so you can see if i am selecting it nothing is highlighted in this model so I want to select it with the help of report. So what I will do, I will go to the template editor. First I will select this box and I will double click on that. In the width I will increase it to 150. And here I will go to the text. Here I will write GUID global unique identifier okay and i will place it here and will take the value field and here i will press g through so that guid will come and i will place it here then i will save this report let's go to the tecla interface close it and I will extract the report. Now you can see GUID is here. If I will select it, see this beam can be selected by selecting this row. But in this, you can notice if I am placing the GUID, then even it is having the same grade same length it is coming in the different different row so this is for the model checking only and it can change the structure of your report also so the GUID is helping for the model checking purpose only after model checking you can uh, remove it from here and send the report to the client okay i hope this will be helpful for you thank you for watching have a nice day